Hey, what's up you guys? It's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another Hasbro Overwatch Ultimate Series action figure review and this time we have Tracer. And before I get into everything, if you can please leave a like rating on the video as it shows your support for this channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. That would be total awesomeness. And without further ado, let's get into Tracer, which was one of my most anticipated uh, characters to be released in this line. And she is a total babe, man. She came out amazing. I love, love, love this figure. Um, I do not have the Figma Tracer figure. Uh, I wish I did. I definitely would have done a uh, size comparison. Um, because I don't know which ones, uh, if they're the same size. Because I know Figma runs small. So, I'm just curious to know if they're the same size or if this one's bigger, you know, Figma is. I don't know. Um, but if you guys know, please comment below. And just taking an overall look at Tracer here. I really, <clears throat> excuse me, I really, really like her visor. Very nice with the translucent touch there. You can see her beautiful, gorgeous, bubbly eyes there. And, um... Yeah, the overall sculpt is just beautiful on these. Um, I'm in love with these uh, freaking Overwatch figures. Man, they're beautiful. Look at that face. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, love the hair sculpt. So, yeah. It's really, really nice. And as you saw in the beginning of my video, she balances very, very well. Uh, let me take this off. And... Just getting a closer look at Tracer. Yep. She is amazing. <laughs> love that. I love the UK flag there. It's pretty cool. And then uh, the sculpting from her jacket down to the arms here. Oh man, this is awesome. The Tracer self-pleasure pose right there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um... Or am I? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, no. Uh, this is really cool right here. Got that nice painted logo. This is really cool. The sculpt is just amazing. I think this is her uh, teleport device. No, not her teleport device. Oh, kind of. It's um, that ability recall where she could like uh, rewind time and like undo the damage that's done to her and like, you know, something like that but um overall so nice she's got these uh <laughs> running crocs on <laughs> that's really cool i love the paint right here I, it goes to from yellow down to orange nice gradient color there and uh the words tracer the letters excuse me the letters tracer um Nicely painted here. No issues there whatsoever. More detail on the sculpt. It has that nice, um, almost molecular looking like structure on the side there. It's so freaking nice. Just the sculpt on these Overwatch figures are amazing. Look at the back. Look at the paint detail that they put on this. Uh, Another home run by the Hasbro team here. Um, wow, it's beautiful. Really, really love this head sculpt. I'm in love with it. And you got her uh, earrings right there. Uh, so that's really, really cool. Man. Such a pretty girl. This is awesome. I love the Tracer even more when I saw <laughs> that cosplayer Jessica Negri uh, cosplay as her. Amazing, it was phenomenal. Just so hot. Man, she is super hot. So cool. Um, let's trace her butt, and there's some straps that go around here. Man, really nice. Um, even the bottom of the boots, uh, excuse me, shoes have some details here, which is really nice. Man, I appreciate everything that goes into this figure. Uh, like the collar piece here is really cool and as far as accessories go she comes with two pulse pistols and they are really cool let me just 
get her balance here. So she comes with this pulse pistol, two of them. So that's really cool. And she has an effect piece for the both pistols. So you could just pretty much just line it up with this and voila, got a nice pulse pistol effect, which is really, really dope. I like that a lot. And again, one thing I mentioned before, I love that you can mix and match these effects with Marvel Legends. So if you remember my Soldier 76 and Anna review, that uh, the Anna's uh, blaster effect did not fit this, but this one does, and it's really cool. So just put that there, and look at that. That works. Man, I love that. I freaking love that. So cool. And then she has two alternate hands. So... One is an open hand, and the other is a pistol holding hand. Because, you know, she's going to definitely need both hands to shoot her pistols with. So, really cool there. And as far as articulation goes, her head moves this far up. Really nice. Moves that far down. Good amount. It's got great head rocker. Left, right. The shoulders move this far up. I don't want to put any more pressure there. I think that's all we're going to get. So that's all we're going to get uh, as far as the shoulders. They move all around. Single jointed elbows again. That's, you know, that's been my gripe with the female figures here so far is... Um, the lack of double jointed elbows, just single jointed. And it looks like it's supposed to have a double joint, you know, when you look at it, but it's not, it's just single jointed. So, um, but she has better single jointed than, uh, elbows than uh, Farah and Anna so far out of the female Overwatch figures. And so her torso crunch, she does have a upper torso and lower torso torso crunch as you see there <laughs> love it so she can move a good amount down so that's really good and then move that far back which is awesome it's got the torso swivel and she does uh, have some rocking movement which is awesome again they beat the female marvel legends here on this part uh, we need to see this on the female Marvel Legends. I mean, these, some of these are smaller, if not the same size as female Marvel Legends. And, you know, they don't have this much accessory, in, uh, excuse me, articulation in the torso area. So I would like to see that implemented for the female Marvel Legends. Her legs split that far apart. So you get a full split, which is super cool. Got that stripper split going on. Boom. Um, and then you got the... Uh, leg rotation so legs move this far up and then this far back uh, she's got the thigh swivel here double jointed knees and oh no heel to the butt but heel to the back I'll take that she's got some really really long legs and uh, a little torso I would say her ankles move up down and she's got beautiful ankle pivot that goes all around, which is sweet. Um, again, guys, these Overwatch figures are a hit. They are definitely worth it. Um, and for size comparison, I will bring out some other female figures from the Hasbro line. So here's Sabine Wren from Star Wars Black Series. And here is X-23 Wolverine. So the teen bucks. Again, this this can definitely go well together. And then you'll have, uh, let me get a regular base female. So that's Captain Marvel. Next to Tracer, let me move Sabine here. So as you see, Captain Marvel stands a lot taller than Tracer. And let me get maybe 
a Psylocke. <clears throat> Just to give you an overall good idea. Hold on, let me move Captain Marvel here. And I'll put in Psylocke right next to her. So, yeah. She would fit in more with this female body mold, the team female body mold. Um, I don't even know. This X-23 is not even a teen. That's just, she's just very petite. But, um, yeah, she does go well with uh, the Black Series too, as I would say. But, again, with if you're doing photography, uh, playing with perspectives, you'll, you'll make it scale. You just got to make it work, find a way to make it work. Um, with that said, guys, if you have not followed me on Instagram yet, please follow me there. I'll have a link in the description below. Um, so leave a like, comment, we'll chat about it. Uh, also share and subscribe, hit the notification bell, making sure that you get all my reviews on time. And with that said, uh, this is x 87 See you on the next review. Peace, peace. Baby.